The budget is basically about how we use our finances. And to start with, I will show you a list of recurring transactions that I have set up. These are uh, rent and bill payments, insurance premium payments, etc. Things that are happening on an ongoing basis are all in this list. And when we come back to the main screen, you can see that it has monthly tabs. And within those tabs, you can see the occurrences of those recurring payments displayed in an order of date. So from this view here, I can right away tell that in this month of December, I have around $6,000 income planned, out of which around $3,000 is already spent, basically, to different bills, etc. And I've got a, another $3,000 left for other purposes. I can see a similar thing for January and, and several months in advance. So the purpose of this is to allow me to, at a glance, to see whether I'm covering that month's expenses or not. I can change the number of months that I'm looking forward to at for the to six for example and so it recalculates six months worth of transactions. So here we go in May 2020 I will have this much money and oh that's not good. So a lot more expenses for some reason. It's probably because some of the big insurance premiums are coming due there in May, like uh, yearly uh, car insurance premiums, etc. So this right here will tell me to plan for May for e extra money will be needed. This was a, a good example, actually. There is also the list of transactions. If you remember, I earlier on added a coffee expense. Here it is at the top of the list today. And every time I uh, spend money for whatever reason, I, uh, I record it. So what it does, if we go into this screen here, it allows me to see the breakdown in categories of spending and how much I spent this week. So, so far it has been $354 and out of this, the biggest expense by far is groceries, um, followed by transport, which is fuel mostly. Anyway, so it gives you an idea of uh, what you're spending and allows you to plan better for the future. This is the, um, the reason for this module. There are many other useful functions that are planned for this module in the future. And we're looking forward to getting to those because they can be extremely helpful in terms of saving money for things, um, having complete visibility of your financial state.